congratulations on ordering your Aztec. Your Aztec tool package includes a quick start guide, an Aztec device, an OBD cable, an Ethernet cable, and an Aztec USB drive. Before connecting the Aztec device and to ensure a successful scan, we want to be sure to connect the battery support to the vehicle's 12 volt battery system. Make the positive connection to the battery first and the negative connection to a remote ground location or a jump post if provided by the manufacturer. Using the supplied cables, first connect your Aztec device to the ethernet cable. Then with the vehicle's ignition off, connect the Aztec device to the vehicle's OBD port. Be sure that the OBD cable is tightly secured to the Aztec. At this point, the Aztec device is powering up and attempting to make a connection to the internet. Once the connection is established, the Aztec device will prompt you to turn the ignition on for the vehicle. However, it is best that you keep the engine off. Be aware that some vehicles will not allow codes to be cleared if the engine is running. For example, this Toyota RAV4 requires that the keyless ignition button be pressed twice, but it varies by specific vehicle. Scans often take several minutes and the ignition mode will often time out before the scan is complete. So to prevent the timeout, you can check the service information to see if the vehicle has a special service mode or use various tactics such as turning hazards on. Now that the Aztec is connected, Confirm that the vehicle identification number is displayed and that you have an IP address that shows you have a connection to your shop's network. You should also see a message that says, Connected and Waiting. Also notice that the battery system voltage is displayed in the upper right-hand corner, which is confirmation that you have your battery supported correctly. If preferred, you are now ready to establish an optional connection via Wi-Fi. First, write down the IP address that is displayed on the screen of the Aztec device. Then, following step three of the quick start guide, with the ethernet cable still connected, go to an internet connected computer, open a web browser, and in the address field, enter the IP address displayed on the Aztec device screen, followed by forward slash wifi.shtml. Then, once the Aztec screen displays on the computer, enter your shop's network name in the SSID field, and enter the network password in the Pass Phrase field. After you press Submit, you should then see an on-screen confirmation that Wi-Fi configuration is successful. And you can now remove your Ethernet cable and restart your Aztec. Some Aztec apps provide for this Wi-Fi configuration process to be done through the app itself. Congratulations on your decision to partner with Aztec. We are very excited to have you as a customer. I'd like to remind you that behind every OEM diagnostic scan or remote calibration is an Aztec trained technician, ready to help you at a moment's notice. Be sure to reference the quick start guide and the Aztec user guide for more detailed information. If you have any questions at all or need additional training, please check out our website, aztec.com forward slash quick start, or call us at the number on your screen. Now you're ready for scanning. Be sure to load the desired Aztec app from the Apple App Store or Google Play so that you can start scanning. Your Aztec contact can assist you if you are not sure which apps to install. To start scanning, please refer to the specific resources or request training for the Aztec app you are using. Thank you and we are looking forward to working with you soon.